this is the month of july it is a due date for filing the return of income of every person for the previous year means for the year 1920 means 14 2019 231 3 2020 but due to corona pandemic the government has extended this due date to file the returns of income for this financial year 2019 20 assessment year 2020 21 to the month of november 30th means there is the extension of 4 months august september october november to file their returns of income so now in this month any person could not file their return of income for the financial year 2018 19 means 142082 33 2019 2019 2019 assessment year 2019 20 can file their returns of income which were not filed earlier can be filed before 31st july 2020 this is the facility given for this year one more advantage given is any person who wants to claim deduction and from the income taxable under various savings allowed means the insurance premiums housing loan installments children school fees that has to be paid before 31st march to claim deduction from the taxable income but this payment period for the year 1920 may financial 1920 assessment year 2020 21 has been extended up to 31st july 2020 means any person if he could not pay the savings before march and paid after march even up to 31st july also are eligible to claim deduction from the income taxable he has to file their returns of income before 30th november 2020 this is the facility given due to this corona pandemic to all the taxpayers so now the basic issues what are the income tax returns means the person who earns income more than 2 and 1/2 lakhs per year they has to file their returns of income for the previous financial year so what are the returns of income there are seven returns of income prescribed by the central government to file for the year 2019-20 assessment year 2021 that is called itr1 itr2 itr3 itr4 itr5 itr6 ITR seven. So, what is the differentiation? How it differs from each other? So, every person who wants to who earns income from different sources, means salaries, business, capital gains, agriculture income, interest income, dividends income, rents income, all are clubbed together to compute the tax liability of an individual. So, depending upon the quantum of income declared earned by the taxpayer nature of income earned by the taxpayer and source of income and also the status means residential status residential status means who person who residing in india and differs from the person who partly resides in india and the person who earns income from indian assets and resides out of india he is called non resident based on this residential status source of income quantum of income and also the status the status is the taxpayer may be individual partnership firm company llp charitable institution anything any associated person body of individuals all are called their different statuses so depending upon these aspects of source of income and quantum of income and residence status and the status of the taxpayer return of income is prescribed to different persons different source of income different uh, quantums so generally what are the details required in filing a returns of income and the details required are the taxpayer's name as per pan card father name status residence and non resident and individual or partnership form address date of birth pan card number aadhar card number mail id nature of employment if he is employed whether pan and aadhar is linked digital signature and all these details has to be provided in filing the returns of income so these are the basic details required to file the return of income by the taxpayer in addition to that the other particulars also required to fill up the details required under various returns of income those are gifts savings insurance premiums government securities and other eligible deductions expenditure of school fees housing loan interest housing loan installments electricity consumption foreign travel 
and cash deposits and withdrawn from various bank accounts and bank accounts with their ifc code the bank accounts which are not in operation for more than 3 years need not be disclosed bank loan accounts assets acquired investments made insurance life insurance health insurance next passport details every person who is holding a passport he has to give the details of his passport also if he has carried on any foreign travel during the year and spent more than 2 lakhs he has to give the details of those foreign travel even if it is less than 2 lakhs he has to give the details of foreign countries visited and some details of amount spent next is cash deposited into savings account and current accounts cash withdrawn various current accounts other one is related party transactions means investments made or properties acquired along with the family members maybe spouse minor child those are the details also has to be given in the returns of income and when you maturity details also if you are if you have done if you have purchased llc policies and you got maturity of the policy and you received the amount on maturity those details also has to be given which are not taxable but the details has to be given all these details needs to be prepared in advance to file to fill up the details called for required in filing the return of income returns of income the details of tds every person who is earning income from contracts salary interest the payer the person who pays the income will deduct from the tax from the income while paying to the tax payer means suppose if your bank pays 15000 as interest to the tax payer it will deduct 1500 from the tax and he will pay only 13500 to the tax payee's account means 1500 paid on behalf of the tax payer by the interest payer in the same way rents also if it crosses threshold limit per annum the tenant tenant has to deduct 10% of the rent payment and pay on behalf of the property owner as tax and the balance 90% has to pay to the property owner so this is the deductions tax deductions and the details has to be provided by the taxpayer in while filing his return of income and to claim the refund or to pay the tax if any in a tax liability if any arise in addition to the tds made by the payers these are the details to be required while filing any return of income by taxpayer by every taxpayer filing is filing his return of income depends upon his income and source of income status and uh, residential all these things as we discussed earlier how the income tax returns are to be filed whether it is offline or online all the returns has to be filed online electronically only how these returns has to be filed all the data has to be filled up after downloading the return form from the income tax website and submit the details if any tax is there pay the tax refund excess tax is there you can claim the refund and it will be uploaded to the cpc bangalore every return filed in india will be uploaded to cpc bangalore and if your pan and aadhar card is not linked you have to file a declaration in itrv that is itrv you have to send in ordinary post to the cpc bangalore to confirm the details given electronically while filing your returns of income and that has to be the itrv has to be sent to the cpc within 120 days from the date of submission of the return of income electronically so if the pan card and other card are not linked or not verified electronically you have to submit the details itrv to the cpc bangalore within 120 days after filing the return of income electronically if it is already pan aadhar card are linked and electronically verified you need not send that itrv to the concerned cpc bangalore 